Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I was asked uh, a few days ago, maybe a week ago, to test out Trustport, and um, I looked through my videos and I saw that I haven't tested it yet. So I grabbed Trustport PC Security, which is I think like kind of like their internet security, I'm not 100% sure, but it's uh, version 2010, it's the newest one I could find, it's a 164 megabyte installer. So we're going to install that. I have, I don't know, 13 to 15 URLs here. We're going to test you know, as many as we can get through. And we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to install the program. If anything weird comes up during the install process, I'll unpause it and show you guys. If not, I'll be back after it's installed. So I'll see you in a second. OK, real quick, I want to show you guys. This thing installs a ton of different uh, features. It has an uh, antivirus, a firewall, a data shredder, disk protection, uh, e-sign, whatever that is, I don't, don't know yet, and archive encryption. Um, the interesting thing is here, it actually asked me to create a new image or select an existing image. So I think it's um, protecting your computer by using the, the, I think the disk protection. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works. Um, so it's uh, we'll install these components, and uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, quick real here, what I want to show you guys. Um, after you install and restart uh, Trustport, you get a little pop up here that says Disk Protection Image Creation Wizard. It asks you to create an image. I'm going to use everything that uh, is set up as stock, 250 megabytes. Uh, the AES algorithm. Just hit next. You're going to enter a password. So uh, I'm going to enter a password here. And it's going to generate a key here and it's going to create a uh, uh, little encrypted disk partition here, protection for me, whatever you want to call it. So I'll be back when this is done. Okay, so. I um, finished creating uh, <clears throat> the partition there. I opened up the main user interface. I went to the advanced mode. And you can see the different um, options here. It's very, it's a pretty complicated program from the looks of it. It's got a lot of options, lots of things you can change here. Quarantine logs, schedulers, uh, firewall settings, application. Um, data shredder, disk protection, e-sign, active encryption. All I'm going to do here is um, uh, see if they have a, a check for updates. Yeah, they probably do somewhere. There you go. And I'm going to let this update. And when it's done updating, I will see you in a second. I also want to show you guys here so you can see what it uses uh, for the engines. It uses Bitdefender, AVG, it's got an anti-spam database, and a parental lock database. So as you can see the engines in these two is uh, Bitdefender and AVG apparently. Which is uh, nice to know. Alright, uh, put you back in pause. Okay, so Trustport finally updated and uh, we're going to get started on some of these links because I've already spent about four minutes. So I'm going to see how many of these links I can uh, I can get working. The computer definitely feels a lot slower. That's for sure. And it definitely has a ton of processes running. Look at that right there. Holy moly. And that. So, and that, and that, and that. So, I mean, there's a ton of processes running here, and the computer definitely feels like it's slowed down. Okay. It's blocked. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. I haven't tested any of these, so we'll see what happens here. Looks like that one made it by the uh, net scanner, web scanner, whatever you want to call it. 
Okay, that one got blocked. So that's three out of four. Okay, the firewall is just asking for uh, outbound protect, you know, if do I want to let it out. So I'm going to let it out. This isn't anything special, it's just firewall asking for permission. So I'm going to let that out and see what happens. Some people have said, oh, you can't do that because, you, you know, this and that. Well, it's just a firewall alert. You'll get that from anything trying to connect to the net. I haven't seen anything else, and I saw this pop up. So maybe we got something that squeaked by. Oh, okay, we got something here that got blocked. So that's good. Uh, we'll see. And oh, look at that. We got some stuff changed here. Again, the, the firewall is asking, uh, asking it to come out. So we'll go with that. Okay, that got blocked. That's good. That one's dead. That one's dead. Looks like I got a rogue. Yep, Internet Security 2010. Ooh, that's fun. It might have uh, killed my internet here. Yeah, I think it might have killed my internet here. Yep. So it's a seriously infected machine right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Trustport here. Yeah, I just clicked on the wrong thing. I'm going to open up Trustport. Antivirus. And I'm going to scan all disks. And I will be back when this is done scanning. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so the scan um, finally finished. And it said it found two infected files. So what I'm going to do now, uh, because I'm running a little short on time, is I'm going to reboot the computer. And then I'm going to go download uh, malware bytes. I also want to show you that the test manager got disabled too. So I'm going to download malware bytes, install it if I can, and run it. Do a quick scan just like I normally do. And when I come back, I'll show you guys the results. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning. I couldn't get it to update because uh, the internet's still locked up, but with the old signatures, it definitely found a ton of stuff. Uh, we got some hijack settings here, uh, task managers, you can see right there. We got the Trojan, wallpaper hijack, fake alert downloader. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix these, and I'm gonna restart and then see if I can update and do another quick scan. So I'll be back after this is done. See you in a second. Okay, so I was uh, able to get Malwarebytes to update after I rebooted. And uh, remember, we got 18 detections the first time. And with the updated database, we got seven more. So we have Rogue Installer. As you can see, Internet Security. We got a registry key change. Some temporary internet files, no big deal and it should get rid of pretty much everything else. So, uh, as you can see, Trustport did not do that great. Even though it uses AVG and Bitdefender, let some nasty stuff sneak in. Uh, I'd give it a 6 at best, mainly because it let a lot of stuff in and also because it's got uh, high memory usage. Well, that does it for this review, and I'm going to go render it and upload it to YouTube. So I'll talk to everybody later. See ya.